Hello everyone, I'm Will, short for William, and I'm your Platinum 2000 Leader here for Extraordinary Investments, and I'm actually going to um, assist you all with setting up your Cash App today. And in your Cash App, you're going to actually utilize a feature called the Bitcoin Wallet. And so what is Bitcoin? So to start, Bitcoin is actually digital currency that we can send from person to person or from person to an institution, and it's going to actually avoid those big bank fees that we usually have to pay. So if you probably have been somewhere, you had to pay a lot of money to actually send money internationally. Well, the cool part about this is that we're going to be able to send money to our international broker firm without paying all of that money to the big banks. It's pretty cool. And so um, the first thing we're going to do is actually walk right on over to Cash App. And I'm going to show you all what it should look like after you have set up your actual Cash App. So you're going to download Cash App from the marketplace, whether it's iTunes or you know, the Android market. And once you've downloaded this app, you're gonna connect your phone number to it. After you've connected your phone number to it, you're actually gonna to wanna to connect a checkings account um, to this account. So this will help you later on in the process with actually taking your earned profits and putting it back into your bank account. So that way you can go and spend that money um, or reinvest that money or however you choose to do, uh, whatever you choose to do with that money. So I'm gonna share my phone screen in about three, two, one and as you can see it'll prompt me over here to cash app so i'm in the cash app app and in this top right hand corner if i click on this circle you can see that i'm now a verified user on uh, cash app so this is my name as well as my cash app username right um and on here where it says 1.8k this actually is usually a photo of a bank but since i have money sitting in my cash app wallet um it's showing up here you're going to click on that right there and usually it'll default actually to this screen right here. So you can see my account information um, as well as deposits and transfers, Bitcoin in the bank account that I have linked here. So I'm actually gonna click on this Bitcoin feature here and then we'll commence a process called enabling send and receive. So I'm gonna stop sharing my screen because I'm gonna illustrate this with a couple different photos. So after you click on enable send and receive, there's gonna be a, a bunch of questions that you're prompted to, which are illustrated right here in my top um, right-hand corner. Um, you're gonna see, it's gonna ask you, okay, what are you using this feature for? So you're using it to trade or to invest, whichever one you choose is more appropriate, and that's okay. You're also gonna tell them what's your occupation. So if you work, where you work, et cetera. And then it's gonna prompt you to actually submit identity documents. So that's gonna look a little bit like this. And what's gonna happen here is you're gonna take a photo of either your ID or your driver's license. And this photo has to be well lit, has to be um, not free of any glares. My recommendation is for you to put it on a plain black surface and to make sure that the light is not too bright in the room, but also not too dark. So that way that information is clear and visible. Now, don't be uh, worried. This information is, part, um, is important for these uh, individuals to receive because they're gonna verify who you are as a person. So that way you can actually get um, connected to that Bitcoin wallet. Um, your information is safe and you're in good hands, okay? Now, after you've actually submitted that photo of your actual ID or driver's license, it's actually gonna prompt you over to submit a photo of yourself. So you're gonna take a selfie, right? Yay, everyone loves to take selfies. Um, after you've submitted that selfie, and it's going to prompt you to, it's going to say, take a well-lit selfie. So my recommendation is for you to get behind a plain wall, none of the designs, not behind curtains, something very plain, right? Um, and you want light to be facing towards you, so that way your face is actually well-lit. You're going to take that selfie, and it's going to look a little bit, um, the, the actual screen of Cash App will look something like this. And then once that uh, selfie has been taken, um, you're going to go ahead and wait. So it's going to prompt you back to the screen and you'll look something like this, where you'll be actually waiting for the verification. And so verification actually can take up to 48 hours. I've actually had it be done a lot quicker, but I always tell people just in case things are busy um, to allow that time. Um, you will receive an email, so please be sure to check your email um, on whether or not your documents have been um, processed as well as accepted. If you have issues with your documents getting accepted, you're gonna wanna contact um, 
Cash App Support, and I'll actually show you all how to contact Cash App Support um, from your phone. Now, please be aware that Cash App Support does not have an actual cell number that, or office number that you can contact. Um, you will have to actually send them an email. So what you're gonna do is actually hit on over here to your profile button and click on the word support right here. And then you're gonna kind of go down and figure out what it is you're having issues with. In this case, we're gonna go to something else and we're gonna come down to Bitcoin. And we'll kind of click on what applies to us um, and you'll figure out how to contact support from there, okay? So that is how we're gonna actually verify our Cash App and this is the first step you'll need to do in order to get started with using your um, Cash App Bitcoin wallet in order to purchase um, Bitcoin and actually send it over to your broker. So after you're done verifying, you never have to do this again, which is really cool. This part does take a little bit of time and patience. So be patient with the process, get started early, don't wait to the last minute and I promise everything will be okay. Again, I'm super excited to help you all go live, um, and I hope that this video was um, helpful for you all, and I'll see you the next time.